Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to crochet this really lovely honeycomb pattern. You can use any kind of yarn as long as you're using the correct hook size. But here, I'm going to be using a 5.5 millimeter hook. Then I also just grabbed my pound of my pound of love yarn by This is a Lime. category 4 yarn in the color olive but once you have all of your supplies ready we're now just going to move on to working the pattern so let's go ahead and get started so to get started on this stitch pattern i have my yarn and this is my 5.5 millimeter hook the first thing that we're going to do is make a slip knot and you can do this any way you would like And then after this slip knot, we're going to do a multiple of six chains and then plus one. So for this pattern, I will do a total of 55 chains. So that is 54 chains and then I just added one. So now it's 55 chains. But you can make this however long or short you would like. And now to make a chain, all you want to do is just yarn over with your hook and pull through. Again, just yarn over with your hook and pull through and then just keep on doing this until you have the total amount of chains and so I just finished up working my chain of 55 and now that we are all done with our foundation chain, we're now going to move on to row one. And for row one, we're going to do a round of half double crochets. So to get started, I'm first going to skip this first chain and then inserting my hook into the second chain, we'll work our very first half double crochet. To do that, I'm just going to yarn over, insert my hook into that chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops. Doing this again, I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into that next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Then now just keep on working half double crochets into each chain across, and then I'm going to see you guys back once I have reached the end of my work. And so I have made it back here and I just finished working these half double crochets. So once you reach the end of your work, you can just go ahead and chain one and turn. And that chain one does not count as a stitch for the rest of the pattern. So moving on to row two, this is going to be basically the same exact thing that we did for row one. But skipping this first chain and inserting our hook into this first stitch, we are just going to work half double crochets into each stitch all the way down our work just like this and so since I've already showed this on camera I'm just going to do a half double crochet into each stitch all the way across and then I'll see you guys back once I reach the end And so I have made it back here with my second round of these half double crochets. Now I'm just going to chain one and turn my work. Moving on to row three, we are finally going to begin on our cabling. So into this first stitch, we're going to work a half double crochet. And then now into the second stitch, so that second stitch is going to be right here. We'll work a front post treble crochet. To work a front post treble crochet, you want to yarn over twice. Then you just want to insert your hook into that post. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And then yarn over, pull through two. Now into this next stitch, which is right here. So you should be skipping this stitch because that is where we worked our post. We will now work five half double crochets. So... Here is one, two, three, four, 
and then a five. And now into the next stitch. And if you need to count, you can just count. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then here's that next post. We will work another front post treble. So yarn it over twice, inserting your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And this row is actually very easy. You just want to repeat working five half double crochets and then a treble crochet into each stitch all the way down your row until, until you have five stitches at the end remaining. But I'm gonna show you guys how to do this one more time. So into the next stitch, I'll work five half doubles. So that's one, two, three, four, and then five. Then if you need to count, you can. So here's one, two, three, four, five. And then here's that next post. I'll work another treble crochet. So I'm gonna yarn over twice, insert my hook, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, and then pull through two. Then I'll keep on doing this until I have five stitches remaining. And so I am almost at the end of my row. I have five stitches at the end remaining and this is what it looks like so far. Now into these last five stitches, we're just gonna work one treble crochet. So into this next stitch. And then now into the last four stitches, just work four half doubles. And then at the end, you're gonna of course just chain one and turn your work. So moving on to row four, we're just gonna do a regular half double crochet row. So just be getting into this first stitch, work half double crochets into each stitch all the way down our row. And every single time that we are working at the back of our work, so the back is facing us, we're gonna do a half double crochet row every single time. So I'm just gonna quickly work up this half double crochet row and then I'll see you guys back to continue. And so I just finished up working that half double crochet coming all the way down for row four. And I did already chain and turn my work. Now we're gonna be moving on to row five and because we're facing the good side of our work, we're also gonna do another round of cablings, except this is gonna be a little bit different than from our first round. So beginning into this first stitch, we are gonna work four half double crochets. And then after these half double crochets, the next stitch that we're gonna do is called a double treble two stitches together. So to do that, I'm gonna yarn over three times because it is a double treble. So that is three times on my hook. Then I'm gonna pick up this post from two rows below, then just yarn over. Yarn over again, pull through two loops. Yarn over again, pull through two loops yarn over again and pull through another two loops now instead of finishing the stitch we're going to yarn over three times once again so one two three then now we're going to insert our post into this next one over here yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two pull through two pull through two and now you should have three loops on your hook so just yarn over and pull through those three loops that is what this stitch will look like. We're gonna do this again, so don't worry if you did not get it the first time. So into the next stitch, remembering that we have to skip one behind and into this next stitch, we will work five half double crochets. So that is one, two, three, four, and five. And now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pick up both of these posts. So I'm gonna yarn over three times and then insert my hook into this post. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And now you should have two loops on your hook. 
We're gonna yarn over three more times. So one, two, and three. Insert a hook into that next post. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And then once you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. And this is what it should look like. Just like this. So now we're going to repeat this pattern working five double half double crochets and then our double treble two together stitch all the way across until we have seven stitches at the end remaining. All right, guys, so I just finished working this next row with our pattern. Now I have seven stitches at the end remaining. Into the seven stitches, we will first work five regular half double crochets. I'm just going to work these five really quickly. And then now into the next stitch, we are going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do a front post, double treble, half double crochet two together stitch. So it's a lot of words for a really easy stitch. We're going to first yarn over three times like you're going to do a double treble. Then we're going to insert our hook. Behind that post, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two pull through two. You should now have two loops on your hook. So now we're going to yarn over just one more time and then we're going to insert our hook into that next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop and then yarn over, pull through all the four loops just like this. Then you should have one stitch at the end remaining. Just work a regular half double crochet. This is what our next row looks like. Now we're just going to chain one and turn as usual. Now moving on to row six, since we're working at the back of our work, we're going to do a regular half double crochet row, nothing fancy at all. So I'll just start on this and then I'll see you guys back to continue for our next cable stitch row. Alright guys, so I have made it back here with another half double crochet row and I did already chain and turn my work as usual. So now we're going to move on to row 7, another cable stitch row. So to begin row 7, we're first going to work 4 half double crochets beginning into this first stitch. And then after these four half double crochets, we're going to work a front post double treble in between these two posts. To show you what that's going to look like, I'm going to yarn over twice for that front post treble. And then I'm going to go right in between here, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. That's what it should be looking like. Starting into the next stitch, we'll work five half double crochets. Then we're going to do the same thing, working a front post treble. We're going to yarn over twice, insert our hook, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And then you just want to repeat this pattern, working five half double crochets and then a double treble in between these two posts as I just showed you guys. And just until you have two stitches at the end of your row. So I'll just quickly work that up and then I'll see you guys back once I'm all done. So now I have two stitches at the end of row seven. And just to finish up this row, into the next stitch, you just want to work one last double treble crochet. And then into the last stitch, work a simple double crochet. Just chain one and turn your work. So for row eight, you guys can probably guess it, we're going to do another half double crochet row. 
So I'll just quickly work across my row and then I'll see you guys back once I reach the end. Alright guys, so I just finished up row 8 of our pattern and as usual, I chained and turned my work around. So moving on to row 9, we're first going to begin with one half double crochet into the first stitch. And now into the next stitch, we'll work a front post half double crochet, treble double crochet. So we're just going to yarn over, insert our hook into that first stitch, pull up a loop. Now we're going to yarn over three times, so one, two, and three. We're going to insert our hook into that post and then just yarn over, pull up a loop. Now just yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And so you should now have four loops on your hook, so just yarn over and pull through all four loops. Now from here, we're going to work five half double crochets into that next stitch. And then once you have finished working those half double crochets, we're going to pull together these two front posts like we have been doing. So just yarn over three times, insert your hook, pull up a loop, then just pull through two, two, and two. Once you have two loops on your hook, we're going to do the same thing. So yarn over three times, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And just yarn over pull through those last three loops and then same thing work five half double crochets and then after those five half double crochets you just want to repeat the pattern working those double troubles pulling two of these posts together and then five half double crochets until you have four stitches at the end of our work remaining so I'll work that up and I'll see you guys back once I reach the end And so now once you have four stitches at the end of row nine, just to finish up this row, you just want to half double crochet into those four stitches. And then now just chain and turn your work. And so now for row 10, it is just gonna be another half double crochet row. So beginning into this first stitch, I'll do half double crochets until the end of my work, then I'll see you guys back. And so I just finished up working those half double crochets for row 10, and now we're going to move on to row 11, which is our very last repeat row, and it is a row that we have already done. So just beginning into this first stitch, we are going to work a half double crochet, and I already chained and turned my work. And now into the next stitch, we'll work a front post treble. Then now we'll work five half double crochets. We'll do another front post treble just like this then now just repeat working five half double crochets and then one front post treble until you have four stitches at the end of your row so I'll see you guys back once I reach that point And so I just made it across my work with those four stitches remaining. You just want to work those four half double crochets. And then you can just simply chain one and turn. 
Now to continue this pattern, all you want to do is just repeat row 4 through row 11 until you have the desired length for your project. But that is basically all there is to this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and I hope to see you guys back next time. Bye!